Luke, <laughs> thank you so much. Pleasure, Mark. Um, um, it's uh, you intrigued me. Okay. Yes. Nietzsche used to say, "When you find your why, you can endure anyhow." Yes. And uh, last time we had a chat, uh, it was really important what you said about training the mind. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about biceps, I don't want to talk okay. about triceps, okay. I don't want to talk about strong man volume because I think there's a, it's a higher purpose. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the mind. Yes, for sure. Brilliant. There's not much up there, but hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we can chat a lot about, about it. Yeah. And it's really important that your whole career changed when you were more vulnerable more aware, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and when you said, Luke Stolman starts here, mm -hmm. the Highland Oak mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. something different. Yes, yes, yes. And I want to know, who's Luke Stoltman? Who's the Highland Oak? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good question, yeah. So I guess, yeah, the, the, the Highland Oak is the, the, the person I've got to become when I'm at these competitions, you know, when I'm competing, that's my, um, that's when I start. To, we start to speak, spoke early with you and said, you know, this evening I'll start to switch on and trying to get more focused. And that's when I become into that competition mode. And that's when where the Highland Oak takes over. You know, this is my job. This is what I've got to do. I've got to be this person now that isn't a clown, isn't playing up to people. And I just switch off and just focus on the job. You know, I know what I need. I know what I need to do to win. That's the thing. It's, it's done, the blueprints here. Follow that blueprint, tick these things off, and I can beat anyone in the world. What's focus? You said it many times. Focus. Focus is just, just being there, being present, and not letting things distract me. Before, I'd be worried about other athletes, if what they were doing. Um, it's almost a confidence as well, being confident in me and what I need. So when I'm confident and... So with the psychologists, we go through our pre-performance checklist. So mm -hmm. this is what I've got to do. So you like boxes, right? Yeah. I'm yeah, the same. Yeah. Yeah. So just tick, 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 tick. It's dead easy. Dead, very black and white. So for me, I know what I need to do. And then when I'm there, I put my headphones on. Sometimes I'm not even listening to anything. I just have the headphones on so people don't come up to me. And it's very easy. To distract you. Yeah, to distract. And then also the energy thing as well. You know, So if I'm in that moment, if I'm just there, People have a tendency then to be drawn to you and tell you their problems as well. That's what's happened before. So as soon as someone starts talking about their problems in a competition environment, that's you distracted, yeah. So that that's what I was before. This year's completely different. I've got to be almost learning to be okay. It's okay to be selfish, you know, in these, these competitions. And I was always worried before, like, oh, I've got to look after Tom or, you know, any of the other athletes that I'm competing with. But... I mean, Tom's world's strongest man. You know, Tom doesn't need me to, oh, are you okay, Tom? You need anything? That's not my job. My job is to be the Highland Oak, the professional strongman, to focus on the job at hand, which is winning Britain's strongest man, world's strongest man. You know, that's, for me, that's all I need to do. So um, just being aware of those, um, the, the, the kind of, the, th the things that can come in, you know, just to keep myself away from them, you know, so it's have that vision of what I need to do. So, like, now I'm starting to vision maybe on that podium, you know, that first place podium, looking down on everyone else. That's that my focus. Yeah, that focus. So that's that's all I'm thinking about now is number one on the, on the podium. And, and that's it. It's not very hard for me now to focus because I know, again, with these tick boxes, wake up, have breakfast, go back up to the room. Routine. Yeah, routine, that's all. Where do you get that urgency from, that power? What, where does it come from? I think I owe a lot of um, thanks to our psychologist, Amy. Um, so she's kind of opened me, because initially when, when, I, when I spoke to Amy, I, I've known Amy for a few years now, and I said, oh, I think it'd be good to work with you for Tom. So I was getting her on board for Tom, and then she says, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, it'd be, definitely it'd be awesome to work with Tom. Do you want to have a chat about you as well? I was like, yeah, but I'm okay, I'm fine. Uh, me, I was like, <laughs> that was, yeah, that was an eye-opener. Like, and again, with Amy, you know, we've had so many, like, it's like fireworks going off in my head sometimes when I'm speaking to her. It's like, because I used to call myself this Highland dafty. I'm an, an, just an idiot from the, Scot the Highlands of Scotland. And, She's like, look, see when you call yourself this Highland dafty or an idiot from the Highlands of Scotland, what is it you mean? 
like let's write a list. So why are you an idiot? Excellent. Yeah. I'm like, um, I was like, uh, I kind of like to joke around in a competition. She said, right, okay, anything else? I was like, well, I couldn't really think of anything else. But then she said, let's flip it. What is it you do? So you're a professional strong man, you own a business, you've worked offshore for 16 years, you've got your own house, you've got your own business. You know, all these things. It was like a long list of things that I'm actually doing okay at. So it was learning to, I, I kind of had a tendency to- Learn to win. Learn to win, yeah, yeah, definitely. And accept the win. Accept that, accept that it's okay to stand up and say, I'm actually doing okay. I don't have to dumb myself down. You didn't steal, you worked hard for that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. It's I mean, achievement, man. Like. Yeah, and it's it's been okay to say that. You know, it's it's um, you know the way we we're now able to look after like our family, our dad, and you know we live right next door to dad, so he sees us every day. Um, Tom and I, we've got this business that's going well. We now employ our brother Harry. We've got Simon and Gabrielle working for us. Stoltman merch. You know, it's um, it's all these little things that I was always against. Kind of seeing the 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 benefit or the, the positive sorry and maybe the bigger picture as well bigger, yeah yeah like it's i think because certainly in the, in the highlands we've got a tendency to see the glass is always half empty as opposed to half full so we've got that kind of mindset that's been oh you're from the highlands or ember gordon nothing should happen you know you shouldn't amount to anything and and that's how i kind of got in in society in our you know area that's how we all were so it's almost like breaking that mold. You know, you get molded into a certain way and yeah, just Plus work. the impact you've got in Scotland now. You know what I mean? Because every little kid. Yeah, I hope so. It's massive what you created because we need to see that the first corn just popped mm -hmm. and popcorn is going to start cooking. Yes. Uh, it, it's massive the impact you're going to have. That's that's the goal. That's for me, it's showing people in, in the Highlands in Scotland and the UK, you know, that it is attainable because when I saw likes of Eddie Hall, Brian Shaw, Haft Thor, you know, Big Z be all really successful, all that made me think, well, I can do that. Like, why can't I follow in their footsteps? Like, when I surround myself with successful people, um, and it's just, it just feeds, you just feed off that energy and that, like, success. It's like, well... Synergy. Synergy, yeah, of yeah. course. And, and like, you get people that become jealous and bitter and like, oh, well, that should have happened. Why, why has that not happened to me? But I think for me, I've got that work ethic, that that drive, that want, um, that why, you know, like for mum's memory, you know, it's I want to be able to put the name Stoltman throughout the world. It's going to be the most, you know, notorious name and strength. And that's what, for me, that's my drive is to, you know, our granddad came over um, from the war in Poland, from Poland. Uh, in the in the 40s, you know, set up his own business, married a German lady back in the 40s. So, you know, we've got that Polish and German heritage in our in our genes. That Stoltman that came from. Man, in Norway, this means proud man. Proud man, yeah, and that's for me. It's on the ten. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's it. It's. I always say, you know, you got to take great pride in what you do, and and for me, the the name Stoltman makes me proud when I see it up in lights, and I want to do, you know, the. Our grandfather, our opa, as we called him um, when he was alive, you know, he was such a proud man of, of our achievements and he didn't even get to see us in competition. He just saw us, you know, training and, you know, going offshore and doing well in that sense. So he never even got to see this. So for me, this is us repaying our, you know, previous generations of all the hard work, that adversity they went through. And now it's that road we've always been on that road of strength and but strength is so there's so much more than just physical you know and that's so for me that's what i need to showcase more i think being mentally strong you know having that mental strength is so important because you both are really humble that's the first thing i and i said and that's what i wanted to ask you now what's 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 next what's <sighs> what's next <laughs> um so yeah, we're in world's strongest man, Britain's strongest man. That's the one, that's the goal. Um, and then after that, you know, next year's gonna be a big year. We've got yeah. the- Because you had a lot of condensed now from September till now. Yeah, yeah. At least next year it's gonna be more spread. Yes, now. that'll be nice, that'll be good. Um, so we'll hopefully, uh, the documentary that the Mulligan Brothers, yeah. that's gonna be coming out next year. Hopefully that'll be on Netflix. Um, Stoltman Games, 
Um, we're wanting to bring a, a strong man Highland Games event to Invergordon, wow. which would be cool because um, we used to have it um, every year in Invergordon used to be a Highland Games. Send me up. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. No, we're getting you. You're there. Um, but that kind of passed away for whatever reason. So we'd like to do it. Bring it back. Bring it back. You know, and have like top 10, 12 of the world's strongest men come into our little town of Invergordon. You know, that's something that I'm. It's massive. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. You know, to give back again. It's like showing the kids as well that there's something else that we can do. You know, so um, that would be cool. We're wanting to open some more gyms next year as well. That's, uh, or over the next few years, that's the, the next plan as well. Um, but again, like we call it Stolten Strength Centre, but it's not just physical strength, it's mental strength as well. So okay. a place where we can, you can be safe in the knowledge that, you know, you have that supportive network. So that's quite important for me to do. The business, the brand, the, the merchandise style thing, you know, become more of like a gym apparel company. Um, so I look to the likes of uh, Ben Francis of Gymshark, you know, there's yeah. a lot of inspiration. He's, they're now, you know, billion pound plus company. And I think that's so inspirational, you know, he's from Birmingham, a young guy from Birmingham to make this billion pound company. Um, so I'm, again, I'm like, well, why can't we do that? You know, why can't we have a, a billion pound company? Again, that's, that's really exciting. Um, and just keep... I don't know, just, just keep doing what makes me happy. This is, you know, talking makes me happy, excuse me, competing makes me happy, trying to, you know, give things back to to Scotland, to the, the, the country, uh, town we're from, that kind of makes me happy as well. Cold water swimming, I think Wim Hof, we're going to do something with Wim in April, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, just keep, just trying to spread the, the happiness vibe, you know, yeah. just trying to be happy. And um, I think if we're happy, then other people will hopefully follow that kind of, the pursuit of happiness. You know, that's something that um, I think we all need to be on. And yeah, lots of cold water swims. That's basically it. It's, so it's going to be a busy year when I'm breaking it down. It's that's, cool. that's cool. Yeah, so it's, it's good. It's exciting. I'm really excited for the documentary because the guys captured Tom and I before we started on this, this mindset um, journey as well. So they could see April, you said um, when it's coming out. Yeah, um, first half of twenty two. Oh, cool. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it should be really good. But it'll be interesting to see the difference of the mind. You know how Tom and I were initially when they started filming compared to now, and and what's happened as a result of that. You know the for you as well. Yes, yeah, for sure, definitely. It's um, I can't wait to see it because before last last year when I, I didn't make the final of World's Strongest Man. I hadn't started this mindset and I wasn't focused and stuff, or as focused, sorry, um, on the mental side of things. And then cut a year later, completely focused, completely changed, made the world's strongest man final. And I should have, but things happened, I was on course to get the podium, then one unit strongest man, one Glasgow. You know, all these things happened because of that. Yeah, so, and tomorrow, yeah. Um, so it's, yeah, it's exciting to see that. And I think that could, help a lot of people as well um, to see that change, you know, that mindset on, geez, th these guys were, you know, dying their hair blonde, getting spray tans, jumping around, being a fucking idiot, and now they're really focused and winning things. Hmm, <laughs> imagine that. Yeah, it's, um, it's just, it'll be cool to see, but um, yeah, it's gonna be a busy year, and then, yeah, just carry on with the Giants live shows as well. Um, we've got Rogue Invitational after this next week. Yeah. So it's busy, it's, um, it's, it's cool, it's, um, I'm just thankful that we can, you know, being busy is good, you know, being uh, relative, you know, as long as we stay relative. And I, I think we just carry on being us, try to do some kind of collaborations with like-minded people. Um, yeah, and just try and take over the world, basically. Yeah. So it's not not that much, really, just <laughs> yeah, be the... The new um, Jeff Bezos of Strongman or something, uh, something like that. Why yeah. Not? yeah, why not? Exactly. You know, even trying to do other guys' merchandise and stuff through our website. That's something that we're talking about. So, I've been chatting to Andy Black about that. Nice. Alexi, I think he's going to come on as well. Just speaking to Pad downstairs. So, you know, if we can. Because if you do that, you'll, you'll help each other. Win exactly. Win. Yeah, win. definitely. And no one's under pressure for. Because we, a lot of us as athletes, and we feel pressure to do every show, 
because you know the financial gains that we get if we do well, we get paid well, which is nice. But if all us, like the top guys in Strongman, were generating an income out with the competitions, that's a, a win-win for everyone. It's a win-win for the giant shows, you know, Roosh shows, Rogue, because then they're getting the best athletes there because we're full time. We're able to recover right, do the mindset stuff, train right. And we don't have to worry about having you know, that nine to five, whatever it is. So I think that's um, that's quite a cool, um, yeah, a wee journey that we can do because, um, you know, we've got great guys that kind of support us in that business. Yeah. Um, and that's really important. So then if we can then pass some stuff on to other guys, it's a win-win, you know, so hopefully take on a few more athletes if they want to work with us for the merchandise side, keep the guys that are working for us busy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, back to 14 hour shifts, that'd be to nice. Fort. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just, just an exciting year. I'm really, I think 20, I think for us the confidence thing, because we managed to um, start something during COVID and the pandemic, so. You've been through hell, so now it's going to be easy. Yeah, you know I hope I mean? so, yeah, I mean, I hope so. Jeez, maybe it's just going to come crashing no, down. No, and, no, no. Um, but yeah, because I hope so. Um, and just, yeah, just keep, keep doing what we do and um, yeah, just, just be the... Be you. Yeah, yeah. Be, be the, the successful, assertive, confident, focused Luke Stoltman that it should be and, and then everything else kind of falls into place because as soon as you kind of... You not know who you are, but as soon as you kind of learn to deal with those doubts and everything, then everything else just becomes easy. And yeah. um, all I'm doing now is... I'm just being happy and just enjoying what I'm doing and I think that's pretty... Pretty special, you know, I've gone through 16 years of being on an oil rig and yeah, not enjoying that so much. So now, you know, I, I know it's time. It's time. Yeah. I mean, I've done my, my, you paid your dues. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, for me, that that's the, the thing now, because I know what it feels like to be in the other, yeah. you know, working 14, 15 hours a, a day, flying straight from the oil rig out to compete at these shows and, um, back again. And yeah. So it's, it's not so nice. And. Don't get me wrong, you know, like we say, I had to go through that, but now, um, yeah, there's no way I'm going back to that kind of old lifestyle. So it's, yeah, just keep keep trying to improve the mindset and um, that's it, simple. To the pursuit of happiness. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Pleasure, man. Thanks so and much. And I'll see you for a cold swim in December. <laughs> yes, looking forward to it, man. Yeah. Thanks so much. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you, man. Appreciate okay. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.